I was able to begin prayer. And I read the Bible from front to back. And I read self-help book after self-help book. I read meditation books and yoga books. And I began practicing meditation in my cell every day. Abuse survivors need to develop new habits. The first year or two of my incarceration, I fantasized about doing cocaine and drinking on a regular basis. Those are the most vulnerable years because your brain has to rewire itself. I said to myself, man, if I can ever get out from under this life sentence, I can't wait to do another line of coke and have a glass of red wine. And then somewhere, year three to four, it dawned on me like, what are you, an idiot? You would never have done what you did if you were clear-headed. You would have to be insane to go back to living like the animal you were living. I was living like an animal when I was on drugs. People do a 30-day stint in a rehab and think, oh, I'm good to go, let's rock and roll. Your brain is still wired to want the pleasure from the chemicals. Like, you are so vulnerable those first 18 to 24 months.